what's up fight fans this is Kirk DeVille with Counterpunch Boxing News and I have some new news some unfortunate news concerning Jared Anderson as of 28 minutes ago Jared Anderson was arrested for driving under the influence of improper handling of a firearm hmm according to CBS affiliate WOTL unbeaten heavyweight contender Jared Anderson was arrested by Oregon police and booked into Lucas County Jail on Monday. The rising star is facing charges of improperly handling a firearm in a motor vehicle, in a motor vehicle and operating a vehicle while under the influence of drugs and alcohol. A police report from Oregon PD indicates that Anderson was pulled over for allegedly speeding at 55 miles per hour in a 40. The officer noticed that the odor of burnt marijuana coming from the vehicle and noticed an open container of Don Julio alcohol in the car. Police also noted in their report that they could smell the odor of alcohol coming from Anderson. After searching the vehicle, they found a firearm in a locked glove box. Okay. Anderson was, was released from jail after posting a bail of 20 or 7,500. There is already a hearing scheduled for 9 a.m. on Tuesday. Anderson, which is 16 and 0 and 15 KOs, lost, last saw action in August on the 26th in his hometown of Toledo, he battered and stopped veteran Andy Rodinko of the Ukraine in five rounds. Hmm. Let me counterpunch. Um, people, this goes back to the breakdown with Roy Jones Jr. The basically cry for help, like, hey, the pressure, though, I'm 23. What do you want from me? Those type of things that he was talking as he was pouring his heart out to Roy Jones Jr. And Roy Jones was pretty much preaching to him, counseling on him, you know, like, hey, sometimes, well, hey, you can do this because God won't help, won't give you anything that you cannot handle. I think, and I wondered what the hell was going on with him. I wondered, okay, what's his issue? What's his deal? You know what I mean? When someone has a breakdown like that, you know, in a, or a cry for help, you know, in, in desperation, you do have to wonder like what's going on now. It's almost like you see somebody in church, the, you, your church goers, and you, you see someone break down in church and they cry and they do this. And then the other people you're thinking, they're like, oh Lord, what has he done now? Or she done now? That's how I thought. I just didn't want to really say anything, but that's the first thing that popped in my mind about Jared Anderson. Like what, what's going on with him? What's all these distractions? Like he wanted to do things that other people wanted to do and he can't do them, right? What did he see that he wanted to do that he couldn't do now? Well, obviously, there you have it. He wanted to smoke weed like a 23-year-old person did. He wanted to drink like a 23-year-old person did. He wanted to do the things that like 23 younger adults do, okay? And I think that was his problem. I think if anything, if anything, Jared Anderson wanted that wildlife. He wanted to do the things that he, I guess, his peers do. Peer pressure, pretty much. You know, I don't know if he was with anybody, but I'll say this, uh, a gun in a locked box is not really, you know what I mean? Like that's, oh, that's Oregon though, Oregon, California, you know, like, like states like that, that have these stringent firearm things, dude, Louisiana, Texas, Mississippi, Alabama, where I'm from, we don't have those problems. You get pulled over, uh, me and my friend, shout out to John Cinco, um, we got pulled over and, you know, we didn't have anything. We, I guess I, we were profiled. Okay. But they have, they found it. Like, you know, do you have a gun on you? Yeah. We didn't go to jail. You know what I mean? He just told him it's there. It's legal. Okay. Boom. No problem. Oregon, you have a whole different situation. So I think they just threw that in there. I don't think that was a big deal. Now, if he had it up under the seat, or if he was had his open and it was chambered or something like that, okay, well, well, wait, 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 yeah, yeah. Well, why was it like this? You trying to do some something, you know? You had that gun for a reason, and why did you have that gun? Only you know, and you know who, right? <laughs> so I don't think that that was a big issue, or you know, it doesn't have to be. But you know, uh, but the marijuana and stuff is it Oregon a marijuana state like California, right? You know what I mean? But the, yeah, the driving under influence, yeah, that's a problem. That means, you know, um, Jared's been dipping in alcohol and stuff like that. And you, you have to ask yourself like, okay, what's up, bud? You know what I mean? But I think maybe the other people that he's hung around and 
basically the things that he's uh, got accustomed to doing out of training is causing more attention to him. And he wants to do that more than train. You know what I mean? So I, I think that's that, especially he was talking about retiring. Like, okay, what are you going to do before 30, bro? You know what I mean? What are you going to do, you know, at 30 years old? You know what I'm saying? You're a heavyweight. So heavyweights have a longer span, supposedly, than, you know, uh, any other weight class. But then again, I could be wrong. You guys tell me what you think of Jared Anderson in this breaking news. Is arrested for marijuana and alcohol and a firearm. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been counterpunching. Peace.